Hey everybody, I'm Terry from Nation Travels. Today I am in downtown Murphy, North Carolina, and I thought I would just take a look around town today and show you uh, what it looks like down here, and uh, I'd like for you to join me. So let's go take a look. I'm standing on the corner of Valley River Avenue and Tennessee Street, and it's kind of the crossroads of downtown and there's stores in every direction and I'll try to walk down each street and uh, pick up a few uh, things down, or not pick up a few things, but show a few things down through here. There's a look down the other direction there. And there's my lovely wife, Melissa, doing some filming there also. You see the dog? No, I have it. Where's it at? I like he's going to open the door and I was like, no, don't do it. Now going down Tennessee Street from that crossroads, I see there's Appalachian Bikes. And there's also a Murphy's Visitor Center right here. And I did go in there and get a couple of brochures on town here. And uh, they do have restrooms and everything in here too if you're visiting. They actually have an old uh, movie theater here called the Hen uh, Theater. Right now they're showing Aquaman 2. And migration. Uh, while I'm here, let me also add that I just love seeing old movie theaters that are still in operation. Here's the box office window here at the uh, old theater. And I noticed that this one movie, it says it's being shown upstairs, while this other movie says it's being shown uh, downstairs. So I guess this is a uh, stacked, uh, maybe they have Legend Steakhouse here on the street. They have a store here called Appalachian Overstock. It says all the best for less. And it looks like they have a country radio section here. It's WKRK. They have the Blue Ridge Olive Oil Company. Narrative books and records there. And this building over here behind me, uh, in the back of it, it looks like it has the barbecue uh, there and Buck Ball Brewing, it says. And this older building here at the uh, end, toward the end of town, is All American Estate Clearing and Antiques. But I, I like, the, I, I love old buildings, I love old movie, movie theaters, and uh, this is just really cool looking. In the antique shop, they've got all kind of old bottles uh, in here that you can imagine. And I see he's even got an old uh, bowling uh, vending machine from years ago, which is really cool. I think they're asking 2000 for that, but that's very rare. There's more old uh, bottle collections. I see a Willie's barbecue sign over there. with Bigfoot siding. And I also see some old outboard uh, motors for your boat. The owner told me that the building that houses this antique shop now used to be an ORC Cola bottling plant. So I found that, find that very interesting. Yeah, the old RC bottling company is what this building was. They have the red brick uh, deli right out here. Yeah, I like the old buildings where they had the old storefronts in them. The Valley River Brewery and Eatery. And this shop here says Brick Oven Pizza. And this is a gift shop here on the corner right here. And I see Bigfoot in the window over there again. There's a shot of that Hen Theater again from across the street. We have a couple of clothing stores, Glitz and Glamour uh, Boutique. And then I think the name of the other one is Unique. So. And this is uh, Peaceful Trails, which is nature-inspired gifts, it says. And there's another Bigfoot site, and they have a lot of Bigfoots around here. And this is Bistro 29 Restaurant.
This is a uh, Chinatown buffet right here. Parsons Pub. This is Crafted Dough, which is a uh, donut and coffee shop. We have a Veterans Memorial here on the square here in town. I'm on Hiawassee Street right now where they have the downtown pizza company. And I also see a Chevelle's restaurant down there. Here's the Murphy Art Center, which I think they call the Mac. have a really big impressive building over here at the end of this street here. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna walk that way so I can find out. It is the Cherokee County Courthouse is what this building is. I'm inside the courthouse now. It was so pretty, I just wanted to come in and take a look at it. Some nice artwork on the, on the walls. They have these display cases built into the walls here with items from, from this area. I was told this courthouse was built in 1926 and it was made all of marble that was mined in this area. And I was also told that the floors are marble. And originally they were wood and somebody spilt uh, some, something on it and set the courthouse on fire years ago. And when the floors burned, they replaced it with, uh, with uh, marble for the floors also. I don't know if you can see these pictures in here for the reflections, but here's an old picture from, looks like maybe the 40s town here. Here's an old drugstore. No, I guess it's just a regular store, not drugstore. And I'm gonna go upstairs too. The, this building to be built in 1926, it still looks new. I mean, I don't know if it's been renovated or what, but it's really nice. It even has skylights on the top. I don't know if those were original in 29 or 26 or not. Yeah, the, uh, the craftsmanship and the work on this and the detail uh, is amazing. I really like the way this looks. They have these old divided benches up here on the second floor. And again, they have another box with uh, pictures from the past here. There's so there's somebody in the very early automobile there. Look from the second floor down into the entrance way down here. They got a 1902 edition Sears and Robo catalog. Wow, this is really impressive. Let me head back downstairs now. Here's another. Uh, display box. It, it look, looks like it's mostly uh, railroad uh, pictures and memorabilia. There's a picture with a train wreck. And here's people waiting for a train. It looks like in Andrews, uh, North Carolina. And uh, I don't know if you can see the way they're dressed. Uh, how the fashion has changed over the years. And here's a picture of a baptizing taking place in Andrews, North Carolina. And across the street from the courthouse is a nice old chapel. And I see it's got a huge bell up there in the steeple. And the historical museum is right beside of the uh, courthouse here. Some more of the old buildings down here in town. That one says a appliance center and has a Frigidaire sign. Uh, a lot of these old towns, I wish they would put uh, 
postings on the building saying when they were built and what they were first used for. I think that would be really interesting. The old repair shop is now Indigo Mountain Traders. Inside it we have an antique store which I'm guessing in earlier days it might have been uh, some type of department store or something. Kind of a unique shape to this building right here if you can see the uh, the work on top the way it's laid out is a better shot of the building right there I think. It says it's a ferry cross uh, bottle shop and it says wine, gourmet food and mercantile. Next we come to Olive's Porch. It says it's a folk school experience. And there's Shoe Booty's Cafe, which I think I showed them for showed from across the street a minute ago. Here's the Linger A While Antique Shop, which I think that's a good name. I like that. Now it says this side of the street is called Valley River Avenue, right down through here. And here's a, uh, looks like real estate. So if you're in the market for some real estate, they, they I, the lowest one I see is 195,000, but I see them up to 1.4 million. So you probably find something in the price range. And there's 192. And you have Blue Moon Elise, I think you'd say, but it's yoga and massage, and uh, it's like a uh, help. Uh, Related. There's H and H Sports. Uh, I see fishing rods in there, but it looks like they have a lot of uh, tags and home decor type things too. Signs. So they sell T-shirts, sweatshirts from the Red Rider uh, carbine, 650 shot. And here's another antique store. I see they got a bicycle built for two. Out here, I think they want uh, 385 for it. I see a wash tub and a watering can here. The sign says the Mason Bar, and I see all these tables out here, so I, I guess it's some type of uh, restaurant and bar. Here's the United Methodist Church building over there, and it's really a very pretty building, and it doesn't really look at all like a church. But I like it. It's the Western Carolina Real Estate Company, and it's really in a, a pretty building. It's uh, I don't think it's real long, but it's made to look like long. But it could be real long. I'm, I'm, I, I can't say de definitely, but it's a pretty building anyway. And here's another old building. It, it looks like it may have been a gas station at one time. And uh, I don't know if they got all these table chairs out here. At, it could be a, uh, well, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's uh, some type of barn restaurant or if they sell these tables. But anyway, it's pretty neat looking. Okay, I went up and looked out inside because I don't see any signage out here, but it says uh, Cherokee Cellars, which is a winery, so I guess people uh, taste the wine out here. This is the art gallery here in town. They have the Simply Sweet Baby Boutique here. And this little store here is called Rumors, and I think it's a, uh, a clothing store. Well, that was uh, my look around downtown today. I've lost Melissa somewhere, but I hope you enjoy this video, and uh, if you do, we'd appreciate if you give us a like and a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Until then, get out there and live life. Bye. Well, I know I already closed the video, but uh, my wife told me there was a historic church here that she wanted to see, and I'd kind of like to see it too. But we parked beside the church at a place called uh, the Cherokee Scout, which has been the local newspaper since 1889. You anyway, know, here's the historic church that my wife told me about that she wanted to see. And uh, I see they have a cemetery here around the church. And uh, at this point, I don't know if it's, it was an old Baptist church or Methodist. And uh, I don't see a sign. Maybe there's one up there around the building. But I'm going to go up here and get closer. Well, okay, now that I'm up here above the door, it says it's the Harshaw Chapel. 
and I see a date of May the 1st, 1869. So it is pretty old. It does say that it's on the uh, National Register of Historic Places here. Now I press my uh, camera up here next close to the glass. It looks like they're doing renovations inside the building here. As you can see, it's just, just open space in there right now. Here's one of the tomb markers or tombstones. Uh, it says that they died in 1885. They were born in 1806. There's a view from the other side of the church here. I found this tombstone. The date of death on it is 1816, and it was a baby that was born 18, in 1815. And I think the church, well, the church isn't that old, so this, I don't know if there was another church here before this church was built, or, or if the cemetery just predated the church. But there's a lot from the mid to late 1800s and early 1900s up here. You do have a good view of the mountains in the distance from up here, standing in front of the church. And so once again, thanks for watching, and I'm going to try to close out the video this time. But we'll see you next time. Bye.